What's up everybody? Producer mixer Matty Amendola here from my home studio in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm gonna walk you through Needlepoint from Unfiltered Audio and Plugin Alliance. Before we get into all the details, let me actually bypass every instance of Needlepoint that I'm using across the mix and my mix bus and give you a quick before and after. We are adding a whole lot of vibe, and I think that the vinyl aesthetic fits this track perfectly. Unlike other vinyl simulators, Needlepoint uses physical modeling to impart noise, ambience, and tone, with warm, fuzzy turntable artifacts and a workflow for vinyl influence tone shaping. Aside from what we see here on the front of the plugin, we can also hit this gear icon where we could do some fun things like change the colors. Love that. Shut off tooltips and even add some fun labels. From left to right, we have an intuitive interface starting on the recording side with input gain control and age. The age knob is pretty awesome because we can continuously scroll from full range modern to lo-fi vintage. So I think of this as a tone knob, and that's kind of how I used it across multiple tracks in this session. Next in the chain is this XY slider to control the wow and flutter. So it's really the imperfections of these machines that so many of us, you know, try to get the vibe of and Needlepoint's really nailing all of those imperfections uh, super in-depth and detailed. On the bottom left-hand corner, we have what might be my favorite module in Needlepoint, a single knob compressor inspired by Unfiltered Audio's Lo-Fi AF plugin with six additional algorithms. The compression modes brought a ton of tracks to life. We're using the Osaka on our kick drum here. In the snare, we've got the Atlantic mode in post, and we're at 100%. We are crushing some room mics with the press mode here. On the bass here, we're using the compression mode Bratwurst. On the piano, we're using the Otter mode. And then on the whole mix, we're using the Lacquer mode. of the plugin, we have our dust and noise section. The three circles labeled small, medium, and large are different flavors of dust and you can control the level and density for each accordingly. We have a super helpful filter to dial in the overall frequency range of the dust output and this cool bump option which simulates interference of dust particles when listening to a record. The noise section we can add EQ, level out scraping, we can change the color from pink to white noise continuously, you can even add movement to the noise filter. We can also disable some of these modules here, and the second we enable them, we'll start hearing some noise.
We can even select from a ton of record speeds synced to the DAW that affect your wow, flutter, dust patterns, and noise movement. This is where Needlepoint runs deep, and if, if you want to go down the rabbit hole and really perfect the dust and noise that you're hearing for your track, this is the plugin for you. I'm using Needlepoint on the roads here to create a little bit of movement, and it's great that we can also select how we want the noise to operate. Sometimes I really like just putting a little bit of air you know, of noise around an instrument to give it its own kind of space and ambience. Sometimes I want it to shut off with my DAW. You know, sometimes I don't want to hear the noise when I hit pause and Needlepoint allows us to do all that. Here I am using the envelope and trying to create a little bit of sizzle just when the keys are playing. And I'm also adding some movement here in the noise section. Last but not least, in the playback section, a global control and some effects like spin down, broken, and pitch. So yeah, a vinyl plugin without that would be incomplete. Needlepoint's got it covered, sounds great, you can change the speed. Broken mode is fun and it recreates the skipping of a record, but you can also use it creatively. I actually had some scratches in the session and I thought that it might be cool to give it a little bit more of a vinyl thing with some automation here. So we're automating some spin downs, um, me just trying to even at some point here you'll see I'm changing the spin, the spin down time and I'm automating my volume as well so we can create some transitions with this scratch noise that I had in the session. So let's check that out. Pitch fader on Needlepoint is great, and while it does have some lo-fi artifacts, it instantly makes anything sound like a really cool old sample. I'm also using it creatively here to have some more stereo spread on these guitars. I am pitching down my guitar on the left just a tad, pitching up my guitar on the right a little bit to create some stereo spread and a little phasing. Really cool stuff, and I'm pretty sure on these guitars, I actually, yeah, older and wiser, I kind of just started uh, by using some presets on here, and, and Needlepoint's got a good amount of them, and it's, you know, really simple to just get going uh, really quickly. So let me show you a really cool workflow that I was just talking about, where we can kind of sample ourselves two songs for the price of one. Let's uh, mute the drums, let's pull up Needlepoint and start messing with the pitch. That's awesome. And it sounds like it's ready to be chopped. In fact, let's let's just bounce this. And let's drag this right into our quick sampler in Logic. Let's slice this guy up. So that's Needlepoint, revolution in vinyl simulation. Not only is it super fun to use, it sounds great, it's very intuitive, and it's inspiring. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Stay up.